Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about stealing in our community and just how outrageous, incredulous, just you can't make this stuff up. Like it's so crazy. So Marshall is commentating in a coverage booth in front of thousands of people on the coverage stage, removed from most Magic players at a GP and he gets his camera stolen. Who would do something like this? It is crazy. Who would steal a camera in a room with thousands of individuals, a room separate from, a stage separate? Basically, it's mind-blowing to me that someone would have the audacity to do it and then get away with it. We might be talking about professional, I don't know, professional people who do this for a living because this is just ridiculous. So Marshall uh, had his camera stolen. He uses it for vlogging and now he can't vlog anymore. It's very sad. And to compare it to other communities, so I'm off to Ireland for a little bit of time. Hopefully, I will have time and internet to do reviews for Eternal Masters. But I have gone to several Google events in Austin, California, New York, and Ireland. And I've gone to Twilio, all these really cool places. I've left bags of, I've left my laptop, which over $2,000, just the laptop, and then content and cameras. And I've never had to worry about leaving it in a room, a conference room. I've gone to Las Vegas for a multi level marketing event. Don't ask me why I was there. One of our clients wanted me to learn something, I guess, and they paid for the trip. And I've gone to various conventions. I've never had an issue with that Magic the Gathering is facing today. And I don't know why that is the case. I would love to hear your comments and get feedback about it. I cannot imagine a scenario where someone leaves a camera Someone who's a famous magic personality leaves a camera in the coverage booth on the coverage platform with cameras pointing at the coverage and someone decides, I'm going to go ahead and steal it. It's beyond, it's beyond comprehension of uh, what I can understand.